Hey guys, Ian with the Sword and Spatula Tavern here. Welcome to my long play series of Baldur's Gate 3. A couple of notes before we get started. I'll explain some of it in the video. This is a solo tactician character where I'm trying to get the Jack of All Trades achievement, which is one level in every class. So things are going to be played a little bit differently. Also, I'm role playing as ADHD, a half elf fighter who has to press all the buttons, has to open all the chests, has to do all the things. So I get into some scrapes. As we progress through this series, you'll notice the quality of the videos gets a little bit better as I kind of figured out my recording setup. But yeah, this is basically episode one. I've put in some clickable links to skip through combat if you're just interested in my story playthrough. But I hope you enjoy. Thanks for watching. This is the start of my Jack of All Trades achievement run role play solo tactician build. Uh, <laughs> I've started with a level one half elf, wood half elf fighter. So the wood elf, wood elf, half elf, you don't really, you could do elf. I just picked half elf. Don't ask me why. Anyway, wood elf gets five extra move speed as well as the elf bonuses. But basically we want fighter for the better starting hit points for the second wind for the armor. And then I went with defense fighting style. I'm not sure how I'm going to end up playing this but I'm never gonna get a feat. So like two weapon fighting is probably not in my best interest. I could potentially do archery for like just the opening volley stuff, but the bulk of the game, I'm gonna be, you know, fighting people like straight up. So actually as I, yeah, yeah, I wanna keep defense. So we'll see. Anyway, background, I picked urchin because I really wanted to have proficiency for sleight of hand for picking locks and disarming traps. Um, since I, you know, won't have rogue for a while, in my opinion, I don't think I'll have rogue for a while. So, and then stealth for the same reason I'm solo. If I can start a lot of combats from stealth, that gives me just that much more of an opportunity to survive. For stats, I went 12 strength. That's enough for some early game, like athletics checks and stuff from fighter, strength saving throws, melee to hit, you know, it's basic, whatever. It's not super important. Dex of 14, like I said, that gives me finesse weapon and archery benefit. Constitution of 14, this is the scariest thing for me because, you know, I'm by myself, I'm taking all of the hits, but hopefully we'll optimize in a way that getting hit isn't gonna be crazy. It was my dump stat. We'll see if that comes into play later. Wisdom of 12, uh, I already don't get sleeped and I get advantage on charm. So wisdom didn't need to be super high. That's a big fear of mine. And then Charisma 16, and that's for a couple of reasons. One, as the solo, you know, I'm the party face, but also so many things get a boost to from Charisma. Like I'm gonna be taking Charisma casters like the next three or four levels. So Charisma, having a high Charisma early is gonna help me in that early run when everything's kind of iffy. A couple of points with this build, you'll never get an ability score increase. So without items and stuff, these are the stats I'm looking at for the rest of the game. And I'll never get feats, so I can't, like I said, two weapon fighting would, is out because I wouldn't be able to take the feat. Any sort of like, any weakness I need to shore up needs to be shored up in like spell choice and things like that because there's no way that I'm gonna be able to do it with feats. But also, yeah, second wind is huge too. It's a bonus action heal that doesn't burn a potion, which early game, I'll have all the potions anyway, so it doesn't matter. But yeah, this is him. Um, what did I name him? Oh, not Tav. ADHD. I actually really like that from a roleplay perspective. I think the name ADHD is funny as hell. And I will die on this hill. Oh dear. I forgot all about needing a guardian. All for me. Our boy AD hopping down. Very nice of the pod to, uh, My head. all right, we got all of our basic stuff. Level one fighter, lacerate, check in the journal. No, I don't want to yeah. find a way off the nautiloid. Easy peasy. Someone else. 
Not everyone made it out alive. Is that a dead mind flare? It is. Dead. Good. Can I attack him? Oh, no. Cruise on through the sphincter. Curious. Is that, hang on. Yes, you've come to save us from this place. From this place you'll free us. The exposed brain quivers in expectation. I don't think I set my... I might have. They return. Remove us from this body. From this case. Free us. Please. And I have 10. I have a minus one in investigation. That is beautiful. Okay, I have no idea what's in there. strange context you notice nothing unusual about the brain all right is an opportunity. You could cripple the strange creature, making it more subservient should it prove a threat. Um... What do you mean? Why is that a skill check? Oh, is he gonna be mad? Okay, well. A thousand years of humanoid history. Elves, dwarves, humans, and more flash behind your eyes. All right. Culture. Gross. She's very angry. You head 
warps and your skin tingles. Visions rush past. A dragon swing, a silver sword, and a flash of your face seen through the strange woman's eyes. Oh. What made you think I was a thrall? We carry mind flayer parasites. Unless we escape, unless we are cleansed, our bodies and minds will be tainted and twisted. Within days, we will be gay. Mind flayers. What do you suggest? First, we exterminate the imps. Then we find the helm and take control of the ship. We will address the matter of a cure for this infection once we reach the material plane. Well, that's fairly terrifying. Um, she's gonna come kill this guy. Break. Hell yeah, brother. What do you mean dice rolled again? What does that mean? Oh, is it great weapon fighting? Oh, a critical. Hooey. So much for peace. <laughs> One day I'll catch a break. Well, now, sure. To the helm. Hang on a second. I just have to loot everybody. Very well. Spun around too fast there. I already looted these guys. There's a thrall over here. And an imp over here. Oh, there we go. How do I, how did I say to? Okay. Gold. What if I... He isn't dead, but he's totally unresponsive. What if I do press it, though? Machine made them hostile. Oh. The machine made them hostile. Well, let's see if we can't... 
Kill him. Time for some bloody work. <laughs> Bro. Wait, if I shove him, will he fall into the pit? No, okay. Nice. How is he still alive? What are you? Oh, wait, what? What, 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 what? How am I almost dead? What? It... What got me? Well, that's interesting. Yeah, why don't I kill that guy? There we go. Sorry, I pressed the buttons. Oh, more, more buttons to press. Nothing. The console remains dormant. Oh. The mechanisms are completely unrecognizable at first. But then you spy an empty socket. What do you mean an empty socket? That socket must power this thing. appear in your mind a brain a git yankee warrior and centuries of darkness um one day I'll catch a break well not this way there's got to be something i don't know if that brain is something i can put in the or if it's something over here Terminated? Why do we have to terminate? Who are we terminating? Um, don't terminate me. Let me swap to the weapons. And then we'll just hiya hiya, I guess. Victory awaits. Oh. That's us. Okay, well. <laughs> Wow, you guys suck at this. Um Wait a minute. So I used that's kind of bogus. I used my main hand attack, it killed it, and I wasn't able to use my bonus action. 
That's kind of shitty, in my opinion. Here's a key. Don't waste a step. Skra. How many hosts of these gay infected? Dazed woman is trapped inside the pod. She doesn't notice you. Okay, well, um, there's some more buttons. Collecting some brains. This might unlock those controls next to the pod. Yeah, maybe. As you place your hand, touch the, the pod, buttons. You feel something. A presence connected to the pod, commanding the person inside to change. Oh no. Change her. Changed at the pull of a lever. How? If we are not purified, this may be our fate. Well, and preserve me. That cannot be our fate. Well, don't worry, it won't be probably. The newborn mind flayer stares at you. Can I kill this? Days. Can I kill this guy? I guess not. Oh wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. hang on. Oh, it's level eight. Yeah, all right, I'll let you live this time, Mind Flayer. <laughs> all right, I can unlock this lady's thing. Oh, wait, what? Uh, some gold, an onyx. How do I take the necklace? Oh, will you calm down? Faint images appear in your mind. A brain, a Gith Yankee warrior, and centuries of darkness. I'm coming, lady. The console appears dormant. The console hums to life. But what is its purpose? Will it free the captain or transform her like that other unfortunate? Let's see if I can take a closer look. Hey, oh no. Okay, well, I guess I have no idea what it does. Oh boy. If nothing in the appearance of the device betrays its purpose. It could do anything. Well, let's... It could even transform the occupant of the pod, like what happened before. Well, I gotta press the button. Suddenly, you feel a hideous squirming in your head. The parasite. Then discomfort fades, and another sensation washes over you. Connection. Authority. Hey. You feel the biomechanical brain of the console process your command and yield to it. A shiver runs across your mind. You feel sated 
What's she passing out about? I thought that damn thing was going to be my coffin. Thank you. Your mind lurches into her thoughts. Her gratitude is mixed with wariness because you have a gift with you. You keep dangerous company. More that Gith have a problem with everyone else. But there's more important matters right now. Survival. Let me come with you. We can get off this ship and watch each other's backs along the way. Are you sure about that? Better odds of surviving if we help each other. I'm used to it. Good luck. And thank you for your help. Get out of here. Oh, wait, I've been this way. Let me go to the restoration pod and then we will carry on. So she's gonna make a path for me, I suppose. So I'm going to go ahead and dash. Best be on my way. Um, as far as bonus action goes, I could... Oh, I didn't get the speed potion that time. Oh, that's possibly bad for me. That's okay, though. Stopped by the minor player on the way. When I said dagger. Just looting my way through. Hurry before they strike. Uh, 
Um. Can't really do anything here, unfortunately. like reaction attacks so we better just hope they don't kill me um can i shove this thing yeah and then i can dash to the transponder i did i reached it the Helm's alien transponder. You made it in time. So far, so good. Uh oh. 